All right, so where is everybody? What kind of tower is this? What kind of weird dimension? The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I, I want like failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can I open this door for you, so let me do that. Thank you. Was God. I a failure for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember it's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Bummer. I, I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Well, um, uh, well, he chooses. I screw up. You didn't screw it up, my friend. It's his life. He chose it this way. Dear Davey, thank you for your interest in my game. I am the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. You did? Why? Why did you poison that for me? I don't think I ever told you this. But when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Stop adding lampposts to them. What? What kind of plot twist is this? Did and then you... you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Well, low points are just a part of the process. So the developer has a friend. He used to have a friend. And then his friend betrayed him. By showing the games to everybody. And then everybody think that he was cool. That he made all these games and all that. So that's what happened. The fact that you think that I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. So his friend wasn't that smart. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine. You're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks. And that made you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Let's face it, bud. You let your friend, you killed your friend in a way. All right, enough with these puzzles. I get so sick of these puzzle doors. Can it shut now? Does it? 
Oh, that's right, I forgot. No, 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 you. All right, let's try again. Whoop. Here we are. Oh. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again, like I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. I want to know how to doubt. I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Wow. What a earful. Holy rip. The guy begged and begged and begged. The epilogue. The epilogue. Up. Oh. Where am I going? Uh. Hello? Okay. Do I get to go home now? More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Well, buddy, you brought this to yourself. What do I go from here? No. So I can't jump on a train? Then... Oh, wait. Is that door open? Yeah, it is open. That's odd. I went on by the first time and wasn't there. Okay, let's go home. Do I just sit anywhere? I'm hearing ghosts talking. I'm hearing dead people. I don't solution. see dead people. Solution. Solution. That was a hell of a fast trip. But... This isn't my home. Where's me spaceship? I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Well, let's face it, Bob. You're not supposed to throw people under the bus like that because... Number one, when you take all the credit for your work, you're just pretty much pissing the other guy off. Simple as that. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Exactly what I said. Like I said, you can't just take all the work and then throw the other guy in the bus because you're pretty much just lying to the public about yourself, about, oh, you did so much work, you did this, and people think you're some famous top dog. But here, in actual real life, he is not the creator. The other, the original developer who made this is the one who takes all the credit. He or she, whoever, is the one that, why is it so dark in here? Should have taken all the credit. Not his friend or her friend, but the one who planned this, who made this, should have actually got all the credit. Not just some baboon. And then later, when this happens, not only it makes his not only be, not only I he loses my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation. 
What would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. All right, now can I talk? It's my turn to talk, bum. As I was saying, not only you're lying to yourself, but you're going to be ruining your friendship with developers or whoever you were friends with. Then depression happens, anxiety. What'd you say? Did you just interrupt me again? I'm so sick of your shit. I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna... Okay. okay. Okay, bud. Go do whatever you have to do. Is think about what you've done. And hopefully, try to find ways to apologize to your friend. And then, I hope you guys would have a blast. I mean, I really hate to see friendships ending in such dramatic way. But, well, I can't really say anything nice. I can't really say anything mean about it, but... I guess that's just the way everything is. I mean, after the little incident with the whole taking credits and life and everything away. I don't know. Maybe soon they'll eventually get back again and become friends again. What's down this hole? Wee! How do I get up there? Oh. Oh, this is an elevator. Nice! Now, uh, I want to see what's in that door. Come on. I want to see one on the other side. Come on. Let me see. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Ah. Eh. Eh. There we go. Now, since now I'm doing most of the talking, pretty much this whole story is about, like I said at the beginning, it's just about the developer who once made all kinds of games from basic to professional, finishing or not, and then what you just heard with all the depression everything that happened because of his friends or whoever he co-workers or whoever pretty much took the idea and thought it was okay to share games and let other people know about so and so this type of games and such but then people got to the point where they think oh he's the um mastermind behind this he knows all the tips and tricks and everything he must be the developer so people just kind of rewarded him and everything what is that pounding noise sounds like there's a lion outside it kind of shames me that this guy didn't think about this in the first place but in the end at least he understands but i'm afraid it may may not be too late to try to get back with this worker and whatnot. And am I floating through the game again? Is this really happening? Oh. Well. It's a great big maze. I mean, the view looks nice and everything. The stars, the galaxy, the clouds. The entire great big maze that I have no idea where the ending is. But hey. It's... I guess it looks nice. I can't walk around, so... Let's just watch the stars. And let's forget about everything that happened. I mean, nobody needs to take this drama. It happened. It's in the past. No need to worry about it. Let's just focus on how happy the stars are. And let's focus on the future goals. Let's move on. Let's take care of business. Let's roll. Let's do all kinds of things. Let's have a party for Christ's sake. Anyway. Turn back. For R. Turn back from this cave. You said let me. 
This project would not have been possible without the following individuals. So and so, Matthew, Ryan, Helena, Richard, and Andreas, Jack, Lindia, Jesus, Jesus. Turn back. Written by the Helena here in okay, so this must be the credits. Alright. So I'm gonna turn this that well actually I'm just gonna turn down all my clean. Voila, it's already turned down. So this was the end of Beginner's Guide. The story was interesting in the beginning until the end it was kind of a little bit depressing. It's like if you're in the same kind of situation where your friend was created all kinds of these games and you just wish that you can take his spot but then you get to the point where wait a minute okay nothing's happening I thought the guy was talking again okay so that is the end Anyways, like I was saying, you you get yourself overpowered so much. You get everybody thinking like like I said, it's like you're you're the coolest person, or whatever. But you don't realize it's not only you're hurting yourself, but you're hurting your friends, family, whoever about this games or whatever they created, and it just hurts them so much. It gets to the point where depression kicks in, maybe suicidal thoughts. No, not being friends anymore, so on. I mean, it, it is kind of crazy, but still, it's like you need to think about what you're doing before something goes wrong. And you can't save yourself in the end. You can only learn from the mistakes, and you can't really... You can't make yourself go back in time and try to refix everything. The only thing you do now is learn from the mistakes... And hope for you the best. Don't do it again. Just enjoy happy life, happy thoughts. And let the developer take all the credit as he slash she needs. As they created the best possible game ever. Or story. Movie, TV show, whatever it is. But anyways, this was the beginner's guide. I hope everybody enjoyed watching this series. I know it's been a long narrative talking story. It is pretty good story. But a little sad, but still was pretty good. Alright, I think I'm done here. This was the beginner's guide. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the video, slap the like button, make me proud. I'll see you next time in a different video. Good night, everybody. I'm trying to find this engine I used to protect me to start it again. But on the, but on the inside, I feel like no one's there for me. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It is gonna take care of something real quick. A lot, of, most of, a lot of these resources, they need loads of iron to make gears, to make this, to make that. It, it needs everything. 